Hello, my name is Tim. I'm in Southampton. It's a beautiful morning and I'm about to join Cunard Queen Elizabeth for a two-week cruise to Madeira, the Canaries, Gibraltar and Lisbon. I hope you enjoy the trip. Hi. As you board the ship, you were immediately welcomed by this impressive lobby and atrium area in grand art deco style. It really is a wonderful um, hub to the ship and a great way to start. It can take a while to get orientated and find your way around the ship, but the grand lobby is a good place to get your bearings. It's where the purser's office is located, which effectively acts as a hotel reception for account matters. It's also where you can find the tour desk if you'd like to book excursions or trips, and also the voyage sales centre if you'd like to book your next cruise. There can be additional benefits by booking your cruise on board, such as additional onboard spend. When you're overlooking the atrium, you get a taste of the elegance which typifies Cunard and the experience of sailing on the Queen Elizabeth. It's always a joy to get out on deck to get some sea air and to watch the waves go by. Our first day is a sea day, so let's start to have a look around the ship. Corinthia Cafe is a lovely place to relax during the day. You can sit and read a book, have one of their speciality coffees and just watch the world go by on board ship. so it's all included and it's uh, quite a performance. and enjoying the finer things in life on board ship. So we're staying in an ocean view room, which was the only class that was available when we booked. So let's go and have a look at the room. The beds on Queen Elizabeth are lovely and the bedding is really great quality. We enjoyed a fantastic night's sleep on board. If you book one of the Princess or the Queen suites, you get to enjoy the Queen's and the Princess grills with um, separate dining area, bar, lounge and sun deck. The staff and crew on board are constantly working to keep the ship in pristine condition and are always delivering fantastic service. Today is a sea day, so I'm having some exercise by walking around deck three. It's a great way to burn some calories from all that lovely food being enjoyed on board ship. Every three laps around the ship equals 0.9 miles, so it all adds up. On one of the TV channels in your stateroom, there is a constant update on useful information whilst you're on board. There's information about the current weather conditions um, and sea conditions. There's also navigational information so that you can track the position of the ship at any time and also see your course um, to your next port of call. As you stroll around the ship, you'll see memorabilia that captures the history of the Cunard line and in particular its links with the royal family. It's this history and heritage which sets Cunard aside from other cruise lines and makes it an extra special experience to capture your imagination.
During our cruise, there was much excitement as they formally announced the name of the latest ship in the Cunard fleet, Queen Anne. She'll be having her maiden voyage in 2024. There's so much to do on a sea date, so let's have a look and explore the ship. Here we are having a look around the shops. There is perfume, jewellery, alcohol, clothes, handbags. There is so much to choose from. Tax-free shopping means you can get yourself a bargain on board. The ship has an entire shopping mall, so lots of opportunities to shop and spend if that's what you like to do. There are lots of well-known brands and designer labels for you to choose from. Why not have a look at the Clarendon Gallery and buy a special piece to take home with you? Let's have a look in the Cunard shop on board. There are lots of branded gifts and souvenirs to take home, but also a small supply of the essential toiletries and basics if you run out or forget to pack them. You could pop into the ship's bookshop. The ship has its own library where you can sit and read and browse, or you can borrow a book to take to your stateroom. The library houses quite an extensive collection set over two floors, connected by a beautiful wooden spiral staircase. You can also pop into the library to collect the daily crossword, which is on offer on board ship. Taking the lift to one of the higher decks, you'll find the spa, which is a fantastic sanctuary to escape the hustle and bustle of the ship and to have a bit of pampering. You'll also find the gym and fitness centre where you can have a workout with a great view or lift some weights. After your workout, why not relax in the aqua therapy centre? If you like keeping active, there are lots of different sports facilities to enjoy on board to keep you fit and to help you burn some calories. It's time for pre-dinner cocktails, so let's go and get a drink and have a look at some of the bars. The Midships Bar is on deck three overlooking the atrium and specialises in gin and fizz. The Corinthia Cafe turns into an elegant bar in the evenings and is very popular for pre-dinner cocktails. The Golden Lion has a more relaxed pub style atmosphere, often with live music and is very popular for a pint. Commodore Club is probably my favourite bar on Queen Elizabeth. During the day, it's a lovely, bright and light space to sit and read a book and to look out over the sea. As the sun goes down, it turns into a sophisticated cocktail bar and cabaret lounge throughout the evening. The food on board ship has been exceptional. There is so much choice in different places to eat throughout the day. Uh, there are the main restaurants, the buffet restaurants. There's also some speciality restaurants at different times. Tonight we've had dinner at the Britannia restaurant. Another beautiful meal. Let me show you around. If you're not staying in one of the suites, the Britannia restaurant will be your main dining room. It's got an elegant 20s style to it, and we found the food to be delicious and the service to be excellent. We were looked after royally throughout the cruise. The Britannia restaurant is also available during the day if you enjoy a formal breakfast or lunch, and you can have wonderful views out to sea. Staying in a Britannia Club stateroom, you can enjoy the Britannia Club dining room. The Lido restaurant on deck nine is available for less formal dining with a buffet available throughout the day. There is a wide selection of fresh food on offer from traditional dishes to the more exotic. The biggest problem is just deciding what to have.
we enjoyed some lovely meals in the Lido. It's great being able to sample all the different flavours. Of course, it's hard to resist the temptation to not go up again for more. The puddings were a particular danger zone. The Lido restaurant also enjoys great views. In the evening, the Lido restaurant turns into one of the speciality dining options where they have themed cuisine at nights, um, be it Indian or Chinese or Mexican, just gives you some extra choice if you want to do something a little bit different in the evening. During the day, you can also dine outside on the Lido deck uh, by the poolside and they do some great burgers, hot dogs and street food. The ship has some great places to have lunch and dinner. One of the speciality restaurants is the Veranda restaurant. Let's have a look. The Veranda restaurant is open for lunch and dinner, but you do have to pay a supplement if you wish to dine there. The high quality steaks and seafood dishes get particularly good reviews. Golden Lion Pub is really popular in the day if you don't want to go to the buffet or the main dining room. You can have a pie or fish and chips or just enjoy a pint. All passengers can enjoy room service throughout the day and night included in the cost of their cruise, so why not treat yourself to some in-room dining or even breakfast in bed? Tonight is the first formal night on this cruise on Queen Elizabeth. It's the black and white ball, so we're all dressed up and looking forward to the night ahead. There's always time for a cocktail to kick off the evening. We've just had a fantastic show at the Royal Court Theatre. The company of singers and dancers did Palladium Nights. It's a show I've seen a few times on Cunard, but tonight was, um, I think, by far the best I've ever seen them do it. Really great show. Tonight, after the show, we're going to have a, a drink in the Commodore Club, which is um, probably the most luxurious and elegant of the bars. As you enter the Commodore Club, there are displays showing all the different ports that have been visited. As we start another day, let's continue to explore the ship. The garden room is very popular during the day, particularly on sea days, because you've got the glass ceilings. It's lovely and bright. It's also where they hold the quizzes and there's various entertainment and music on offer during the day and the evening. Cool areas on board ship on deck nine, both with jacuzzis, and they're very popular when the weather is good. I didn't take a dip in one of the pools myself, but I know that when the sun was shining, they were very popular. Wherever you go on the ship, there is some musical entertainment to suit everybody's tastes. The Yacht Club on Deck 10 is a lovely space during the day, but it really comes to life at night it's where the late crowd go to have drinks and to dance the night away. There is often a live band playing or a disco. There was even karaoke on a couple of nights during the cruise, which was very popular. There's so 
much entertainment which happens on ship. You have the daily program and there is endless things to choose from. We're about to do some line dancing. Step up. Step. Step. You can spend your days at sea okay. learning okay. to ballroom dance. Quick. Or have a high energy workout with a Zumba class. Every day there is a full programme of insight lectures and talks if you want to attend. You can play cards, you can visit the internet centre, or of course just play one of the many games out on deck. A little bit of a gamble to try your luck on board, you can visit the casino. There is a bar on the Lido deck if you'd like a drink by the pool. The dancing continues throughout the day and into the night. One of the things that makes Cunard different from other cruise lines is it's a little bit more formal. People really make an effort to dress up, which makes the evening so much more special and fun. different venues around the ship to enjoy. We've had the Royal Court Company of singers and dancers, we've had comedians, we've had acrobats, um, there's been solo artists, there's been so much that the, the cruise line have put on for us to keep us entertained. It's a bit windy on deck today, but it's great to blow away the cobwebs and get a little bit of exercise walking around the deck. There are professional photographers on ship, usually in the evenings when you're all dressed up and you can have your portrait photo taken and they will have it produced for you and framed. formal evening, it's the Roaring Twenties party. There's so much entertainment that goes on on board ship. Tonight we've got a big band playing in the Queen's Room. Fantastic show in the Royal Park Theatre. Tonight we're having dinner in the Britannia restaurant. The service is great. We've got a wonderful team of waiters and sommeliers looking after the section we've been sitting in, and the service has been wonderful. One more. I don't Tonight after dinner there is a comedian on board for a comedy night. After the show we like to have a nightcap in the Commodore Club and listen to Clara Lynn playing on the piano. It's a great way to end the evening. Clara Lynn kept us entertained in the Commodore Club most nights. She also did a great headline act in the Royal Court Theatre. <laughs> We're lucky enough to be enjoying another wonderful day on the Queen Elizabeth. Our cruise on Queen Elizabeth is gradually coming to an end, but we've had a wonderful time Two weeks seems like a long time at the beginning, but of course it always goes too quickly. But we've been to some fantastic new destinations, made some wonderful new friends, and eaten far too much food. But it's been a great trip and we've thoroughly enjoyed being on board. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed my cruise and I hope you will join me on my next trip. Thank you. 
In no time at all, we had our last breakfast on board before disembarking in Southampton and waving the Queen Elizabeth goodbye.